Hi everyone, welcome to Love, Love and Life. Life. My name is Victoria, this is my wife Regina. And this is our sunny boy Ariel. So thank you, man. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you, and imitator. <laughs> And subscribe to our vlogging channel to watch us what we're doing today and how we Family Daily Fun. Family Sorry. Daily Fun. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm uploading there more recipes that I'm uploading on this uh, on this uh, vlog uh, on this Mogman channel. And today we have very Russian, almost Russian, okay, food. Except most of it. Like A couple of things. Butter? Yeah. So this is kasha, and kasha means uh, buckwheat. 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 If you have never tried the buckwheat, it's awesome. It's not wheat, it's seeds and it have different flavor to it. And it's really, really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, why do they call it buckwheat? Because if you can, you don't really... I don't know why. Wheat. Anyhow. This is a uh, tongue, uh, as usual, beef tongue and uh, yogurt, uh, garlic yogurt. Usually it needs to be mayo mayo garlic or something or just oh. mayo but i don't have mayo at home so that's why i'm saying and i don't even like mayo i yeah. actually sort of like that he, lo he loves this one this is yeah <laughs> pork liver with onion again this is very much russian delicacy if you didn't know they eat a lot this is considered to be health food this and this considered to be health food which is interesting what else water water yeah water not vodka water. not vodka <laughs> Yeah, not vodka. Still not vodka. <laughs> Still not vodka. <laughs> Probably it will be appropriate some, you know, shot of vodka, but nope. not for uh -huh. us. And this salad is just regular salad. Um, pepper, tomatoes, onion, and cucumbers. And if you see, we I cut it very large. This is how a lot of Russians do. They don't cut it finely by any means. So this is how how it uh, works yeah feta cheese because Ari loves eat this salad with the feta cheese yeah it's it's a uh, olive oil in in uh, lemon usually my gr my parents actually did it with um, some kind of olive not olive oil olive oil wasn't so prevalent to the area Can I have and uh, no no lemon or very rarely lemon so yeah and I have here Indian pickles. I, I don't have ketchup. I really love usually with ketchup, which which is absolutely not. Uh, we have ketchup? No, we don't. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Is that enough for you? Do you want more? No, it is enough for me. That's Thank you. Thank you. You want to try sweetie pie? You mm -hmm. never tried this one. I did. When? A long time ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. How about you just try it? Okay. You haven't tried it this for. This is one another food I don't want to try at all. That's okay. Um, let me I just make it. Try. Let me put the flavor into it. I, want, I don't like a small... Um, the what? Where's the bowl I asked? Oh. The what? Can you put the soap yes, please after? Yes, I can. On the side? No touching? No I'm touching. Kidding. touching. It's, okay. it's okay to nah. touch. Nah. 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 Yeah, we're talking a little bit of Russian here. Nice. Here, take, kind of. Here, take. So, yeah. Let me just try it flavor-wise. You want the salad? Mm. A bit more. Yeah, I know it's. Uh, she I doesn't salt stuff anymore. I tend to completely. Yeah. Did you salt? Be it? Uh, just a bit. Actually, I had uh, salted butter. I think inside. But that's it. Oh yeah, that's really counts. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. so this is how. No. No. I knew I wouldn't like it. No. I think we'll do how the how it rolls. Oh, rolls. there is your zatar. Ariel doesn't like. Oh yeah, zatar, the Mediterranean, Mediterranean um, spice. Hmm. Mm. And you get three salt bowls. Why? This is worse. Ariel doesn't like really. I knew that he doesn't like this one, and he doesn't like this uh, one. So I made for him uh, the tongue. Lots of. People don't like liver just because of the blood in it. Yeah, I know. But I it's, not, like it's not because of you, you don't like the flavor of the liver. No, lots of people. Me, I just mm. don't like flavor of liver. Mm -hmm. mm. Is it the flavor? It's not because it's not the texture. No, texture no, and flavor. Yeah. Both combined. Mm. If the mm. texture mm. was good, I still wouldn't like it. If the um, texture is bad and the taste is good, I still wouldn't eat it. Mm. I like this texture. You do. Mm. Emphasis on Funny you. story. So story time. 
I remember when I was a kid, I would go to one of my grandparents. And my grandpa used to cut the salad. It was huge, huge, like those humongous chunks. And I was sitting and was like complaining all the time. I'm like, oh my God, I can barely squeeze that piece of tomato or in my mouth. And like, oh my God, look at the size of this onion. It is so huge. You have to make it smaller. And every time, of course, no one did. No one took my feelings into consideration. And obviously, as a grown up now, I know you need to make it a Greek size salad or like Israeli Not salad. Greek, Greek, Greek actually have a Not big that salad. big though. Not no, that big, not but that big. Not that big, but huge. not that big. Anything would be better than those huge ones. Or Israeli ones. I think I finally ended up in the right place when you chop your salad really, really fine. Finally. 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 Right. Not finally. the Greek because of the fat it threw me off. The Israeli one. Mm -hmm. Now as a grown up person, I'm okay eating the salad, but again, I would choose Israeli salad every time over and those we're not huge. eating it a lot. I think oh. you need to go wash your hands though. We should get a towel more. No, towel is not going to help, sweetheart. Go wash your hands. No towel that helps. Not this situation. <laughs> and it's oh, like, no. oh my god. And he's making Greek salad for himself yeah. actually. Yeah. You can see here. Yeah. Okay, I remember seeing it and every single time I would come. I would stay over there and every single time I would get this coarsely chopped salad. I was like, come on, I can still barely squeeze that piece of tomato in my mouth. I know. It's like, ah, exactly, ah. I know. Well, like, it's a cute, it's a cute story. I, I haven't know. heard it ever. But it's like, no. no. <laughs> well, you're about story time, so I was like, it's my turn, I guess. Yeah. And you see the size of piece of tomato? I know. I'm like, why would you take kids feeling into consideration and just, you know, like make the pieces kids, smaller? It can do matter. Especially in that world. Yeah, looking back, no one really took many of our feelings into consideration. Oh. Um, can you mix mm. it, please? You want me to mix it? Yeah. Sure. You're the best mixer. You want to mix it? I can do it. Well, mommy can mix it. I guess. Okay. I'm going to mix sliver with onion into my buckwheat. <laughs> it's good though. That's the first time I heard you say that. <laughs> no, I usually actually, well, for many years, You yeah. see how what he did? <laughs> I just made myself Greek. He made himself Greek salad. Anyhow, true enough, you're right. For many years, I wouldn't eat <coughs> caramelized onion mixed in my buckwheat. Mm -mm. 100%. Mm. This is pretty perfect. This is this is the food that we grew up with. Like I mean, since since birth, and um, just you know, in the difference of you know perspective, it's considered to be absolutely uh, buckwheat and uh, liver. It's considered to be food that uh, the parents made us eat. Like I didn't like buckwheat. I think until I, I was way older. But this for sure food that my parents made me eat. But you know, at least this buckwheat is you know, cooked in water. Mm -hmm. You know that lots of Russians would eat this buckwheat for in, breakfast though. For breakfast in not boiled, for, uh, not for, um, in for boiled milk. Not for like, dinner. Okay, but they would eat it regardless. Yeah. Okay, for breakfast, fine, but seriously, in boiled milk, buckwheat, uh, yeah. you know? Considered to be like, you know, like oats. Everyone wants their children to eat oats. Buckwheat considered to be in Russia the main health food. And liver as well. Mm. And mm. liver, it's it, like... Mm. Good one? Liver is good for your teeth, apparently. Do you want a knife to cut no, it? No, I'm good. I'm about to take a piece of it. Liver is awesome for your teeth, just saying. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Yeah. So I guess up to this day, as I said, I will take Israeli salad or s mm -hmm. small chopped salad mm -hmm. over those huge chunks. And funny enough, I guess it did ship. That's why you're getting awesome salads. Because I never <laughs> wanted to eat those mm. big chunks. That the first time that I said yay. 
Because when I make salad, mm -hmm. if I'm too, too not in the mood, I don't make it the smallest one, they'll be still like way, way, like they'll be tiny pieces. Not those, um, come on, look at that piece. Really? Mm -hmm. I agree with you, I don't like it either. Right? And quick salad is not that bad. It's about like, at like least half or third of that. Yeah, like and guess what? The Our memory, memory card got full again. Sorry. Guys, I have to understand. I'm filming daily vlog every day. I'm filming sometimes two more bunks a day. Obviously, our 64 memory you know. got. You know. Mm. Yeah. Plugged. So yeah, this is how different is the health food. Guess. Guess what's my favorite um time in um milk bunks except for the food. Hmm. Yes. I don't know. Story time. Because you tell stories that you usually don't know about. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think so, everyone loves story times. Yeah. It's kind of cool. You kind of have know more. You are before life. Kasha. Kasha. So, yeah, no, before you, you know. before you life, before us life. Yeah, so now you know, because I've been... Can I, can I, all of it? No, but even with, with me, but I couldn't really think or I yeah. don't remember. Yeah, so now you realize because of my childhood trauma with having those huge chunks of salad, mm -hmm. you get to enjoy small and... Uh, Tiny pieces of salad all the time. Which I enjoy <laughs> yeah, so no. much. See? Uh, another thing. I'm using a uh, buckwheat that's um, uh, raw. Raw, uh, buckwheat. raw buckwheat. So it doesn't have such a pungent aroma to them. Um, usually in Russia or Russians use uh, buckwheat. It's, it's, it's the same idea. You take the you know, raw buckwheat like this and they put it uh, on... Um, grill or something or on the um, <coughs> just to to roast them and the flavors in the roasted bucket are you know like in all seeds are much more vivid and much more um, you know so usually if you go to um, Russian stores or the delicacies or European delicacies you will see darker color the bucket than that and why are we eating this type of buckwheat? Because it's healthy. There you go. We're eating this type of buckwheat because I love them to... I love to sprout it before. And I'm sprouting it and, uh, you know, and it's green buckwheat. And I think it's, uh, you know, as usual, less processed food is always a bit better. There you go. You're welcome. Because I knew you would ask that question. Yeah, I know. And there'll be like 2,000 comments about it. <laughs> and like 3,000 likes on each comment. <laughs> we are not yet there, but yes, yeah, soon. Mm -hmm. I love this buckwheat. Mm -hmm. It's mild, not to taste. Mm -hmm. So if you are trying to start with buckwheat, go with slightly greenish tint to the buckwheat when you buy it, and you will know that it's a um, fresh buckwheat when you buy it. This Indian lemon pickle is perfect. Perfect for this, I know. Better than any ketchup. Mm -hmm. Ketchup is amazing. Again, ketchup, it's not Russian really at all. No. No. Mm. Mm. And the liver? It's perfect. It's yummy. I haven't uh, had such a good liver for a while now. Mm -hmm. Very good liver. This one is really good. Mm-hmm. What type of liver is that? Pork. But it's a local farm that of that uh, make free range pork. And you can uh, you can uh, try it like you can you can feel it and you can taste it. It's very clean. It's um it eats uh, you know um not porky. Not porky at all. 
it eats uh, grass and all of this you know things outside which is awesome and no fat at all inside like absolutely clean and beautiful I know what I'm going to Google later. Yeah? Backwards. No, how farmers killed the animals. I was always fascinated about that. We'll see about that. It's quite scary. Yeah, yeah. it is quite scary. Let's have this discussion later. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maximum, you will see vegan kid in a few days. <laughs> mm. I don't mind. I really don't. Yeah. We're not imposing our beliefs on him. Oh no. Maybe we become vegan one day. Who knows? You never also. know. You never know. I don't know. I always try to find the more humane. Do I look like a vegan kid? I don't think so. Yeah. No. And you know what? You know what? We're, always, We're all um, about um, open mindedness mm. and people can make choices that right for them. And we just believe not to impose our opinions on others. We just give our perspective on life and we really don't like when people and impose their opinions on us. We can have a you know civil discussion, we can express our opinions, you know, think say what we think, you know, whatever yeah. our beliefs, but the we're never end. going, to, and then we're never going to force anyone to do anything. To do anything, and I wish people, more people in the world, would do that. You know what? Because some people, with their beliefs, get become get very aggressive. Mm -hmm. It doesn't if it's on meat eating, vegetarian. If it's about you know religion, like anything. That's actually what happened about that gun shooting. Exactly, in Orlando. Ago. Exactly. Very sad. Still so heartbroken. Those videos that are coming up is just like Oh yeah. Awful. Awful to see those faces and the families like but yeah. we support what we do believe it's about <coughs> local economy. We always try to find local needs, local farmers. I know the farmers by name. Um, most question. of them. Is Law gonna close those videos? Which? The um those bad videos on one. Are they gonna close them? I don't know. Or are they gonna keep them? They I'm not keep sure. that bad. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. We believe that people are entitled to have their own opinions, their own beliefs. As long as we can live together in peace respect and respect each, other. each other's, that, and respect that other people can have their own opinions, they can be different than you are, and that's okay. We cannot be the same, but mm -hmm. we definitely not can have your own religion, you can be whatever. Just don't hurt others. Yeah, I know. Some tolerance people. Oh yeah, it's very, very important. It just... And I always say that if you choose eat um, meat, we respect animal enough to eat all of the meat. Like, I buy, you know, feet and I do something with, you know, head cheese and whatnot. I know it looks like, oh, awful and yike, but if you think about it, at least we have you know, full closure, how it was, you know, hundreds of years ago. That, you have your that's own why one day animals. I want to go hunting. Well, yeah, you're just too small to decide about hunting, but yeah, also, you know, in Let's Canada, up and you can decide. In Canada, it's legal. You can do it very well. I know hunters that make so much of the, the prey above their, um, you know, hunt, and it's feed the family for winter, and uh, you know, and I think that. There is, you know, energy around it, so it's your choice and... Uh, exactly. Let me make sure we're doing my organic, sustainably raised animals. Animals, I'm trying, I'm sometimes I'm going to the farm, we're going to the, if we can, if they're close enough, we're going physically to the farms to check the animals' welfare. Yeah. I have around here Organic, SPCA, it has every every imaginable. Can I have? Oh. Every imaginable, you know, that they are doing the right thing and 
again, I've been on the farm and I'm not supporting them and I'm not buying their meat because I think it's thank you too horrible to. <laughs> what? So it's what depends. Are you about even? There is one farm here that I really don't like. They're chickens because they're overfed and they have um, fatty livers and whatnot. So yeah, so not yeah. Those are the right decisions for us for at this us. point. Again, things can change, and who knows? And we're always uh, we're always yeah. open-minded, you know. And we're always living day by day. I exactly. Mean, and we we change, and it's okay. Yeah. Are you done, sweetie? Oh, I think so. It was so good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is childhood memories right there. I think this is how I am. Mm. And then if, if I, I remember, if I didn't want to eat buckwheat, it was or liver, it was. Yeah. We're supposed to eat things. Yeah. Something we decided never to do too. Oh, but he, we have a rule. He needs ah. to try it every time. Exactly. Not every. Most of the time, yeah. No, if I'm doing day by day, no. But if um, he needs to try new food, that's what we did with buckwheat. You yeah. tried. Did you like it? Great. Great. But so many foods lately you did try that you didn't like in the past, and you like them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The most yeah. important thing is to stay open-minded. Mm-hmm. This is one food anyway one like. Yeah, it's okay. No matter what I did. We never know. You never know. In the no, end, you know. I meant as a kid. Maybe. I didn't like it as a kid too. I know, right? I started to eat, I really started to love it. I think I was above 20. I really loved it. Afterwards. When Wine pickle, come to me. It's hovering. So yay! The thing we can do <coughs> is so brown. My god, it's so spicy. Ooh. What? The lime pickle? Ooh. I have an idea. Ooh. The drone. We could like um, attach that and then it can fly to you. Yeah, like, right. Here we go. I'm going to steal one of your onions. Thank you. I don't know. I still want to go to Japan and have that sushi train. Really? Oh, yes. my bad. Oh yeah, I'm waiting. Oh yeah. I'll be eating sushi for the train. No, I'm kidding. I love sushi. Oh, I love sushi. And I know that the Japanese, you know, train sushis are the cheapest sushis there for, for family, like family restaurant mostly. But they, everyone say that, who, was, who are not Japanese, I mean, say that they are so good anyway. And they have this weird sushi, like sushi with the beef, and uh, yeah. I'm good with that. I heard of Japan is very expensive, so actually have a cheap sushi is good. Mm. Actually the the food, especially the train for transportation, hey? And actually the transportation is all awfully expensive, but the food itself not so much. Like no? No. If you go to a restaurant and you buy you know um it's not more expensive than here in canada to go and go eat out let's put it this way you but we live in very expensive area as well so it's not that we live in a very cheap area it's getting so ridiculous to buy groceries it's just ridiculous mm -hmm. nowadays it's like 12.99 for one orange are you kidding me? No, not yet. Not no, yet. I've eaten that before, many times. No. No. No, oranges are on the cheaper side. No, I did see it. I did see it. Well, some type of fruit. Not a big fruit. Just like a normal fruit. Yeah, it depends on the fruit. Yeah. Like grapes or something. Like a small pack of grapes. Like very small. Small pack of grapes. I saw it $12.99, yeah. So, yeah. It's like... Um, and then in Japan, if you go and eat, let's say, 
noodle noodles, yes, and then, you know, something with the toppings and etc. You can go out by, by, you know, with a huge udon bowl for five, six bucks. So it's not too, too bad. Like, you can find those cheap foods. But on the other hand, if you go to sit on restaurant and the sushi that they prefer for you, this is all another story. You can go out easily with 80, 85 bucks per person. Per person? Per person, Regina. Per person. You love your onion, hey, Ariel? He eats a raw onion like no tomorrow. They're hunting them, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ariel, another story. Ariel was. Wait, 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 about stories. Wait yeah. for a story. Yeah, sorry. I just realized we're doing like Russian food mostly. Well, yeah. Except the feta cheese and you know. And we're talking about Japan. Japan. Like, that's really? normal. So Ariel was small, he just started to, you know, to communicate. He was already talking, but not, you know, so well. So every time he said, Ariel did something, or he wanted me to say that I'm proud of him, he came to me and I said, ah, ah. Like he did it to himself, like, ah. <laughs> it was so cute. So cute. I don't like it anymore. You know, and you're so precious. But we are doing it sometimes. Oh, Hello, hello my hissy family. <laughs> Put it in, put it in the, done right. You're oh. so. Oh, you're my nice beauty pie. I love fruit. What the one? What's the one? Strawberries. Cool. Go with oh, them. Go with them. Can, can, I, can I finish the peppers? Uh huh. The onion is magnificent. You know what? When I was cutting the onion, I was a little bit uh, crying, and Regina felt it. I don't know. I was like starting. I'm sitting. No, let me go. I was like, why I'm am I just starting? Oh, Victoria, blah blah blah. Are you killing me? It's like, oh my god, it's like really burned my eyes so bad. Just to take care No, I I'm just want to say I was already crying before by something. I won't tell you what, but it, I didn't have any effect since I was already crying. <laughs> I I had it had no effect. It's okay. It's okay. It was sad. upset. It happened. It was upset. upset. I think. Everyone get to be upset here. Cry here. Very upset. Wash your hands though, bud. Crying is okay. It cleanses your soul. Oh yeah. We did a couple of days ago. Huh? Yeah. Did a lot of it actually. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm totally cleansed, but... Yeah, I know. <laughs> but you're welcome to cry. Oh yeah. Would you the one? No, sweetie pie. Yeah. So I was cutting it. It was pretty pungent, but... In salad, it's really sweet. I mean, you see how sweet it is? Oh. Mm. I want watermelon. Ugh, what happened? Look! It's just something spilled on the fridge. Do you want it's watermelon? Okay. I want watermelon instead. <laughs> All right, changing plans. Watermelon is on the way. I think we'll pause it, pause it and, and we'll come, we'll get this organized and we'll come back to you. But, uh, Watermelon. <laughs> You're running so fast, so we won't turn it off. And he loves this uh, kefir. Go show, show them. I think they, everyone oh, already yeah. saw well, this in, kefir. In case you missed no, it. When you before. do, um, viewers. Yeah. In case you missed it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we'll see you. And you will create And, and we're, we're back. back. Watermelon time. Watermelon time. I know. Watermelon it's like this. Time. This is, I think, mukbang that doesn't end. It's just, it's like never end, uh, never ending story. story. Whoops. Of a uh, mukbang. Okay, that was klutzy. Can I borrow? I'm, I'm such a klutz lately. Can I borrow that knife? Which Not knife? For your okay. You have this. Thank you. 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 But I didn't cut my own stuff for a while, and well, I kind of want to do it now. You see, I told you that he will get there. <laughs> After a few years. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Yeah, I know. So funny. Mm -hmm. Good one. Now let me just move this melon right here. Mm. It's really nice. Ooh, I got a clean slice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Including flat slice. <laughs> mm. I love this. Yeah. I really enjoyed how. 
Yeah. Today is never ending story. Mm -hmm. And I remember the watermelon as a child. I really need towels. <laughs> <laughs> You know, what are you saying? I should go and get your towel? Mm -hmm, yes. <laughs> I think that's exactly what I'm saying. The towel is in the laundry. Yeah. It's actually in the dryer. Ooh, so is it dry? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You had, to, you had to see her face. It was pretty funny. Can you explain me what she did? She wasn't happy that he wanted a towel. Why? <laughs> because we have no towels left. No well, towels, I, I, you know. We run out of uh, towels that they are... Um, well, sorry. You know, one that uh, throw away <laughs> towels. And the not throw away towels are all in the... Um, watch, like, they need washing. Which is, or the or they washed and they are um, still wet. Which are they're wet. <laughs> We're in business. <laughs> you were so funny when you did that. You're like Ehh. We're in business. Found uh, found one. Good one. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I remember as a child what the big knife? Watermelons were um a decalage? No. Understand. They were in summer. And it was just summer food. <laughs> and and you wouldn't bad. believe it. Our battery got low. It's amazing. Today Let's hope it that saved the recording. Yeah. It's insane. Like what's going on today? No memory, no battery. Maybe we're just talking too much. Probably. So, yeah, so I remember we were visiting, my uncle actually lived in Odessa and um, we were visiting there. Your father's dad? Yeah, he lived in Odessa for the longest time ever. He's so, smart. Yeah, your dad? No, no, my uncle. Smart one. It's a nice town. So we nice were visiting city. them and I remember the, the sea, the sunshine and the watermelon. You know what it means? It means more in sign language. When I was you learned that from my like baby cartoons. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. yeah. We got specifically DVDs when Ariel. Another story time. How did we encourage Ariel to talk more? I actually more? still have those. <laughs> <laughs> we go ahead to. Uh, the story time? Well, it kind of come into. No, I had to encourage him to talk. No, fair enough. And you need to. <laughs> yeah. Nice. No, we didn't really need to encourage Ariel to talk. Like Mama's knife. It's uh, way better than that. Yeah, My knife is good. Oh, I have another knife. Don't worry. I can have another one. You need to realize, not that Ariel really needed any encouragement to talk. But but we, you know, we were progressive parents. <laughs> oh, so, the, you guys didn't know how to talk. You talk so we bought me? baby DVDs for uh, to talk with baby mm. sign language. Silent. So one of the words is more. So this is so we sometimes we like a few until this if you one of them we use like more. <laughs> so and it's so cute. You. Yeah, it's so always still sometimes you did so today. We did today thank you. And thank you I did today exactly before thank that. You. Yeah. And Ariel sometimes still does use those. But when you more, obviously if you don't use it you lose it some of them. But it's a uh, it's totally a way way to do it. Way to do it. Yeah, it was really cool. Actually he started talking he was uh, put it there please. He started talk he was Seven months? Six months? First world? Like, he was ridiculously small. Hmm? Oh, yeah. What? That's a story we're not going to talk to you. Sorry, guys. I did so quietly, nobody could even know that I'm talking except to my... See? So you can whisper. Mouth. No, but want. I'm more like, um... Not, I don't whisper, actually. I'm more like, um... Lower my um, air levels that I talk with, like to the minimum I can. I don't even whisper. You know, you know, I in, lower in, in the theater, there's a thing that's called, it's called 
shout and whisper. When you whisper so loud that, that everyone can hear. Mm. So that's what God. That's what Ariel does to us when he say, Ariel, you need to be quiet. Yeah, right. He start to shout. Oh my God! <laughs> Shouting whisper. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my so, yeah. god, that's hysterical. I think he, was, he, he first uh, one was six months. I have a few stories in my mind now. And I think we should save some stories yeah. for the future. No, this is, no, name the video Story Day. The Story Corner. Should do more stories. Story. Story. <laughs> Everyone asks us for Story Corner, they really love our story time. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. I got to my very limit of abilities to breathe. Can I have one more? Definitely. <laughs> oh, you know, and maybe not. <laughs> Am I the last melon standing? You know what? Mm. It's like every second that goes by. You feel all that thing fills up your abdomen. Oh, <laughs> you don't have to. I know, but I really want to. I was looking at <laughs> that watermelon. I bought it a couple of days ago. Yeah, it's still a story, kind of. Yeah, a couple of days. No, it's probably been like three or four days we had it. And every time I look at it, it's like, oh, watermelon. I want to eat it before work. Well, no, I'm rushing, running to work. Like, yeah. You know. Oh my god, it barely can fit. Yeah. Oh. I think we need to go sleep, all of us. Oh my god. Together. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that's my piece. You can't have this. Piece. She's, no. <laughs> she's the cutest. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I'm so stuffed. Watch your fingers, baby. Yeah. That's why I'm doing this. Okay, you go here. You see? He can do it. Well, when you were concerned. <laughs> see? No reason to worry. Oh, well, I actually no. cut it very well. Mm -hmm. Whenever it's ready. Mm -hmm. No, it's this fixation that in certain age you need to do certain yeah. things. Our kid didn't read the book. But that's a different story. Oh no. I always told well, all of my like all of my doctors and all of my, you know, his Arch doctors and everyone like I said my kid never read never read any books about child development. No, he does his own way. Yeah. It's okay. And so graceful. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you Good talking well? <laughs> no, I'm gracefully so like gentle and you know and like, in a perfect manner. Like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, <stop. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh guys, we're having so much fun with you, we can't just let you go now. Oh no. Stop. Actually you're the be the best bunch of people that we know. I'm the last melon standing. <laughs> you guys wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Our you. memory card again. The third time today. The, it's the second time the memory card. Like, uh, I think we're too close. Yeah, it's okay. okay. No, we can no. squeeze. Move closer. Yeah, it's fun. It's insane. Yeah. Like, the, it's like, what's going on today? I think we're just talking too much. Okay. Way too much. So I think we're going to wrap it up now. As a, yeah, present, as a present, I think it's, that's it. That's it. We, we get the way, clue. We get we the clue. We're having way too much fun with you guys, and it's so, so funny. Yeah. I cut so gracefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he cut so gracefully. Yeah, he's so cute. You know, he's still the cutest, right? And we still love you the most, right? And we'll always love you the most. I love you, sunshine. Okay, yes. let's go. Love you to sunshine. Thank but we're you. talking about his graceful. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. So let's so wrap it up like a present. present. 
I'll be careful with the knife. Yes, like, really there, is, there is a limit to, you know, it was funny, but it's yeah, okay. Yeah, but I get a little bit grateful. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, and you, you know what? If you're not subscribed to Snake Island, please subscribe. He loves it. Subscribe to our family our daily fun vlogging channel and every you know, day. Don't forget to subscribe, write us a comment, thumbs up us, and cheers. Loving life. life. Subscribe to this channel. Uh, check check out Etsy shop, shop Patreon account and uh, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. We're like love lemons. Into loving life. Love lemons. We love lemons. <laughs> Bye. We love melons. Oh, love melons. Love melons. Oh, you're so funny. No, I, oh, I yeah. actually meant lemons in the beginning. It was like, we love melons too. Love. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. Love lemon melons. Yellow. Okay. Bye. 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 Love Bye. yellow lemons. Melons. Love yeah, yellow, yellow melons, melons are good. Love yellow melons.